Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, third uh, Substance Designer 5 uh, tutorial uh, video uh, which is a series about how to make an, an, an eye inside uh, Substance Designer so as I told you this is the third one so in case you haven't seen the two previous one I invite you to click on the link that you should appear somewhere on the screen right now uh, so in the two previous videos uh, we have done this, uh, which is like blue eyes. The first video was uh, focused on the, the sclera, which is the white part with all the, the different veins. Uh, and on the last one we're focused on the iris for blue eye. Uh, we're going to do another video on, uh, on the iris in order to add some more detail. Uh, for this video we focused on uh, adding uh, all the, the small, uh, I don't know how to call this, but the fibers that you see behind. On this one, we are going to add some more detail. Of course, we cannot, uh, I invite you to adapt to your needs because all eyes are different, and it's hard to make them all. But we are going to try to do something like this, like some stains like, like this that we have, that you can see here, for example, which are. Um, once again, they are really different, so we are going to adapt it to our need, and um, I hope you will like it. So let's start. So we divide in in three parts in order to do the things properly. First, the uh, the, uh, the white part, the sclera, the iris, and the pupil last. So let's focus on the iris. As you see, iris is taking a lot of place, so I'm going to make some space for it because actually that's maybe the most complex part complex part sorry so here we made the fibers as we said and now let's focus on making some variation of all these fibers so first once again we need a splatter circular like that and what we're going to do we are using it a lot because of course it's a circular object so it makes sense we center the orienta orientation first and we are going to use I think a paraboloid like that but we are going to put like this more or less once again first thing I do is I am going to plug it directly in the eye so I, uh, I check well what I'm doing like that so we know more or less the, the scale that we need so the radius hmm, I have to put it in max as well so if you saw the video before you understand why because we we want to make sure that the, if I change the scale like this, it's, it moves from from the center to the external part and not the contrary because it will adapt to the iris so, as you, let's say we have something like this what we'll do first is add some pattern scale around them kind of a lot I'm going to diminish with the size like that and I'm going to add more iteration of this maybe something like this You know what, I think there is a more blurry shape, so let's see that. Maybe that. Maybe not so much variation. Oops, sorry. No. Bit of randomness. I'm going to add position randomness to max. You see here it puts in, a, I think we are in uh, add sub, I th that's fine. I think we check to max now. We want add sub, and we want to add way more of this. Something like that is quite cool. I think. Let's see pattern scale random. Something like this could be fine. Let's play. I'm just playing a bit rotation random. Mm, I, I we don't want that. Now, add this one in the luminance random. Maybe a bit like this. 
And now with this what we are going to do is add a gradient, gradient map like that, grayscale and what we are going to do is edit the value so we put a point in the middle and this color will be black and this one in the middle will be white and now we maybe you got the point I'm going to change a bit the radius of that it's maybe a bit too big actually you know what I don't really care because I'm going to mask it right now so for example I do Control shift d to duplicate the blend node here okay of course right now I'm going to adjust the radius because I have a good idea of what to do so So check because I have a small problem here because I want them to stay inside. Actually, you know what? It turns to be fine, I think. Let's leave it. Ah, it turns to be fine because it's not plugged. Less fine. So I have to adjust this to fit, but it may be not this. It may be the size. We check. Our size is fine. It should be the radius. Yeah. Okay. So I put the radius so it goes just above this. We will add some mask at some point anyway, and I'm going to reduce the scale the general case so it don't go too much above that radius a bit more yeah okay so right now now that we have that we are going to blend it with this map blend node here we would, may want to put a gradient map as well here uh, it would be quite tough to to put a, co a color because there is so much variation that we are going to to remain consistent so I'm going to find an eye let me check I'm going to take something like this for example so we're going to pick some color in this eyes. I have found another one, this one maybe. It will be something to adjust, but let's make some test. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go back and let me check. Here, maybe I'm going to add some more random in the luminance. Something like that. It will be more interesting. Now, with this gradient, that's where I'm going to tint this. So, I'm going to do a big gradient and go through the image. Not really what I want, so too strong. So, I'm going to take something a bit more natural. And I'm going to simplify that. Don't worry about the, the black one behind, it won't be there. So, in order to do that, I'm going to, to reduce like this, and maybe the precision as well. And I don't like, so I'll clear all, and I'm going to take something like a peak here first, I'm going to take something like. Um, blue, destroyed blue and here I'm going to take like a yellowish like that which is too, too saturated and too strong and 
here in the middle I'm going to add something even bluer something you want to to do your your own way neatly okay so let's see what we can do with that uh, choose something more than that I'm just playing Okay, so let's try to mix that properly. So that here. We put that here, we put that here. Okay, so yeah, we start to get something interesting. We'll have to play a bit with that for sure. But now we want to add it to the main right here. And for some reason, okay, no. Okay, so I get something interesting, but the the both part is not strong enough. So let's see if we can adapt that by taking this mask now. Let's see if I do just that. No, we don't want that for sure. Actually, I think it's kept somewhere else. Okay, yes, it's kept. So, yeah, we can remove that. And it gives something a bit more interesting, even if I think we, we want to be a bit more present. Check. Close. Yeah, that's what was the problem, I think, is we cap it twice, so of course we don't want that. Okay, now we have something better, even if we have a problem here. So what we'll do is we are going to add these two masks together. Let me check this one and this one. So we do a blend here. This and this. And we are going to put in add mode like that. And we make sure that this goes here like that and that this yeah because we're missing a color somewhere okay this one right now is not strong enough let me check if I put pink yeah because it's behind but we almost don't see it because I forgot something somewhere ah this Should be better. But not perfect. There is still it's all black here, so let's see why it goes back. So here it works actually of course. Actually I'm going to change the color back. Okay. So this is Not what we want, definitely. So, so here I have I'm going to organize this a bit so we see 
what could be the problem. So here we have a mask, which is fine. Here we have another mask, which is what we want. And then that's the blending. I may not do it in the proper order. So in order to make clearer, I'm going to move that here and to move that here because they are above. Okay, so this is the in color gradient map. This is the other one, and now that's where the magic should happen, but it doesn't because I want this to be blend together, which is fine. This is what we want. And now that's where I may forget something here between here and here. See that mm, because we don't want this mask, I guess. Okay. Makes more sense. Okay, fine. Now we have our background. We may want to tweak that a bit to make it more. It's saturated, just yeah, something like that. Not bad. Tweak it later, and now that's where we put. Okay, way better. Okay, and now we are going to plug this here, and we are going to plug this here, which is already the case. Actually, yes, that's what we want. So we see the bluish part behind, and we have some stuff here. The thing that I don't like here is that we have to put all this information as well in the normal map. So let's do it. Actually, I think it would be mostly done by this, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So let's see that. So we have a normal map which is generated just here so far. It takes in account everything. So what we're going to do is blend it with that. Mm. Let's do this and this, which I'm going to. I think let's try an overlay so far and see how it goes. It may be too strong, but we're going to adjust it because we can see that it's strong. Okay, so right now. You can see that we have some levels interesting. So it's not that bad. Uh, there is too burnt, too much burnt color, so we are going to fix it here, okay, maybe. Yeah, here it's in add mode. So what I'm going to do is create. Actually, like this, I'm going to take this one and do Control D to duplicate it, and I'm going to change the blending mode to something like overlay just to see. Overlay should be fine. It's a bit less strong.
we get something interesting here. You see, we can see the screen which are here. Okay, something you can play a bit with it that could help. You, we may want to do here, as it's really small, is to actually take mm, let me check where it is and where did you put it? Actually we can take this mm. Use the numbers could help. Intensity input would be. Oh, wow. This, for example, and you reduce to something really small, but it will give some volume to the eyes. Like that. And now that we've done that, you can play again, and for example, track a bit that which is a bit too uh, too neat, but I don't like the color either. So that's a good time to play. So you can go here and move this color a bit closer to something like that. Desaturate it a lot, something like that. And maybe you can come here. And put, put, and put um, you know what I'm going to do something here as well is now that I have a color I'm going to put an ambus as well to give some more volume to that and again like that of course it's way too much but once I want to push it a bit so we get that in the final result. Okay, so that's not bad. What I may want to do also is to change a bit this value to see if it could see so you can define how how much this part is going to affect the other. Back to the color. Here, maybe I want to put. Here I'm just playing, you know, but uh, you see where uh, you get the idea. So here, after when you're here, you can also play with the blending and make it totally transparent. But something like that could be cool. That I'm going to do it to make it more. Something like not what we want, don't worry. Okay. I'm trying to search for a value that I like greener. You can play maybe with the way it blends, I'm going to try. This, this is not the, no. <laughs> overlay, may, over, overlay, maybe by switching overlay and playing with this, we can get something interesting. Not really. That's definitely not. Maybe add, let me check. No. 
copy, we are going to extend copy, we'll have more control and once again I'm going to change the color because I don't like that the goal is, is really to add some interesting detail it's really up to you, you may find something way more interesting than what we have now I want to go to the green like that between green and yellow quite hard to find what I want something like that should be fine and what we may want to add finally here uh, where, where is the emboss? it's here it's maybe to, to blend a bit the mask Now this one I'm going to diminish it. Okay, so let's blur that a bit. Not that much of course. So once again you choose either you want it super sharp or not. See you can play with that. Okay. Okay, so I think I spent a lot of time speaking about that. So next part, I'm going to fix a bit some stuff inside that, making a bit more beautiful, and I will um, and will focus on the pupil and how to make them work together. Once again, this part you can play during a lot of time, finding what you exactly want. So I don't focus too much on it, but. Don't hesitate to play with that, with the color, with whatever you want. There is lots of possibility, as you, as I show you. There is as much different as as uh, as uh, there is eyes. So it's really up to you to tweak it the way you want. So I hope you like this uh, third video, and don't hesitate to to put some comments and to share it if you like it. And see you in the next video.